Many of you wanted me to compare the Space One Pro, the best headphones that Soundcore has to offer in terms of performance and features, to the Sony Outwear, one of the most enjoyable headphones for bass heads, with powerful noise cancelling. Both of them are comparable in terms of price and specs, but having used the Space One Pro for a bit, there are some things it does better if we're comparing them to the Outwear. We're going to talk about that, as well as things that the Outwear does better compared to the Soundcore Space One Pro, and how they stack up in terms of microphone pickup, noise cancelling, and sound quality. Just to make this comparison a bit more fun, I'm also going to throw the Q45 into the mix, just to see how far Soundcore has come in terms of performance. Now, as always, links in the description if you want to check the latest prices of these headphones on Amazon. And for more comparisons like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Now, what I like about the Space One Pro is the way they fold into a smaller, more portable package. The Outwear and the Q45 can also fold inwards, but they don't have the same degree of swivel, so they can't fold as much. You can also fine-tune how much transparency or noise cancelling you need, whereas the Sony only lets you customize transparency. The sound customization of the Space One Pro is definitely more sophisticated. With Hear ID, you can customize them both to the sensitivity of your ears and to your sound preference, whereas the Sony's are only customizable to your preference. And the Soundcore has far more EQ presets and a graphic EQ with more granular settings instead of the usual 5 or 6 bands. They also support Dolby Sound, which expands the soundstage regardless of the source of music, whereas the Sony's don't have that. Instead, it's got spatial audio for a very selected list of devices and apps, which is far more restrictive. In terms of fit, I also feel that the Sony's are a bit tighter on the head, not by a whole lot, so they're still quite comfortable, but the Space One Pros are definitely more gentle on the temples. Wow, gentle on the temples. That rhymes. That being said, if we're talking about features, there are some ways the Sony's are better. For example, the Outwear's Alt button makes them very fun. I mean, you can seriously jack up the bass on them whenever you want, or toggle them back to default bass settings if you so desire. The Soundcore also has a bass up feature, which can be toggled by double pressing the noise cancelling button, but the bass difference is pretty small, nowhere near the level of the Outwear. In fact, I was just testing it, I was checking up its bass level all the way in the Soundcore app, and the Space One Pro's bass level is nowhere near the level of the Outwear. Oh yeah, one thing that the Outwear has that the Soundcores don't is head tracking, but as with spatial audio, it only works with certain devices and certain apps. So that's how they compare in terms of features. How about microphone pickup? As usual, we're going to compare them in both quiet and noisy conditions using really loud cafe noise and wind noise from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundcore Space One Pro. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony Outwear. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundcore Space Q45. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundcore Space One Pro. The big blind fox jumps over it and the lady gone. I'm not going to be performing any policy things choosing the Sony Outwear. I'm not going to be performing any policy things choosing the Soundcore Space Q45. So it's pretty clear that the Space One Pro's mic pickup is clearer than the Sony's in noisy conditions, and my voice is more amplified on the Space One Pro than 
the Q45 with more aggressive noise gating. That being said, in my most humble opinion, the Soundcore Space Q45 still stands up pretty well to the latest model. Right now, we're going to compare their active noise cancelling with the Soundcore on custom max noise cancelling settings using the same cafe noise as before. In terms of active noise cancelling, these are pretty decent, quite comparable to the older Q45, but definitely more quiet than the Altware. It was doing a lot better at cancelling, especially the lower frequencies. So assuming that you were listening to the sound samples with earbuds, you can hear less background rumble on the Space One Pro compared to the Altware. This means quieter plane trips, more peace on the train, and more calmness, more zen in a house full of screaming kids. We all hate screaming kids, right? Now, if you want to compare their active noise cancelling and call quality to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Hundreds of people have joined up, especially people who can't simply visit a store anytime to compare earbuds. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency, it's good, ambient sounds are well amplified, including voices, and my voice is only a little bit occluded, so having short verbal exchanges with people is not uncomfortable at all on the Space One Pro. It is definitely more transparent than the old wear, which has passed through that doesn't sound as bright or as transparent. But if we compare it to the Space Q45's transparency, I think the Q45 is more transparent, it's just passing through more of the ambient sounds, and my voice sounds less occluded. This is with both of them on their max transparency settings. Now we're going to talk about the most interesting part, which is the Space One Pro's sound quality. On their default tuning, they sound pretty great. Great separation of the vocals from the bass, vocals sound crisp and clear, and it is a very engaging, dynamic sound that I personally do enjoy. Its sound staging feels a bit more closed in and compact than I prefer, but that also adds to the energy of my music, so I don't exactly hate that. Now, they are a little darker in the upper highs, so for somebody coming from the Q45, they can sound a bit dull, but they do sound more vibrant than the Altware on its default tuning. Now, what about its bass performance? It's punchy, detailed, has great extension, just don't expect it to hit as deep or as loud as the Altwear, even without the Altwear's bass boost settings. Listen to the samples. To compare their sound quality to other earbuds, go to loudandwireless.com slash sound samples. Of course, if the default tuning is not to your liking, the sound quality is very 
customizable and there are lots of settings that you can play around with here id is one of them it's automatic tuning that tests for sensitivity and tests for your personal listening preference but here's my feedback about here id what here id gave me interestingly didn't sound as good as the default sound core signature preset and i suspect it's the preference part of the tests that wasn't as accurate, or it could be that it's cutting the frequencies I'm more sensitive to when it's supposed to only boost the ones I'm not as sensitive to. However, you can stack another layer of EQ settings on top of your ID. So the sound of these are really customizable, more so than the outwear. So do I dig the Space One Pro over the Outwear? Well, if we're talking about its features, its active noise cancelling, mic pickup, how well its multi-point pairing works, the app interface, then yes, I do think that the Space One Pros are superior to the Outwear. That being said, the Outwear is a beast in a totally different fashion. Toggling through the different alt modes, its bass response really slaps and it can get very loud without distorting if you want to know how powerful its bass is check out my review link in the description as for the controls i think there are pros and cons to both the space one pro only has button controls and that's great for people who wear gloves but the outwear's touch controls feel easier to navigate when walking because i don't have to feel around for the right button to press and this is especially hard when i'm moving like when i'm walking right so there are pros and cons to both headphones and depending on which is more important for you that's the one to go for but if we compare them to the cheaper Q45, in my opinion, the only benefits that the Space One Pro offers is better portability because of the way it folds. It's smaller, more compact. It also has slightly better noise cancelling, better comfort because the clamping pressure is more gentle, and it's got Dolby Audio. Apart from that, I see this as more of an incremental improvement does it justify the slightly higher price point well maybe i mean it's a good strategy to slowly push into the premium category but the improvements are just too marginal so if someone were to pick say the q45 today they're not going to miss out on much if you want to check the latest prices of these headphones, I've got Amazon links in the description. And if you did find this video helpful, smash like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I post frequency response charts on X, so do follow me there and click here to find out more about the outwear.